dear friends now let us move on to module 1 lecture 1 we are discussing health safety and environmental management under the auspices of NPTEL program at IIT Madras in the previous introductory lecture we discussed about a brief necessity for HSC now we shall discuss about introduction to HSC basic terms and the definitions safety assurance and assessment safety in design and operation, organizing for safety, hazard classification assessment, hazard evaluation hazard control, importance of safety in petroleum and offshore industry. What is importance of safety? Prevention of death or injury to the worker is the foremost importance of safety, prevention of death or injury to a general public, prevention of physical and financial damage to the process plant prevention of damage to third party property and prevention of damage to the environment all put together envisages the necessity or importance of safety. Now, this can be explained diagrammatically like this let us say in a process industry we have core of individual groups let us say these individuals do a procedural violations this procedural violations done by this group is carried forward by an inter individual phenomenon there is no communication protocol between the groups because there is an inadequate shift handovers that results a further complication in facilities and equipments for example if the facilities had poor alarm system poor human machine interface design then the complication is further added to the outer tablet of organization and management. For example, under this coverage we had difficulties with eroded safety walls, there is a violation culture existing in the organization, there has been a serious maintenance error. Let us say now this capsule added to previous all complications makes things more difficult for the outer profile which is external environment. So, this is depending upon what are the facilities we have in the workplace. My dear friends if any error or violation created by an individual group when this gets aligned with all the subsequent errors done at different levels you end up in what is called a disaster. So, if these errors are unfortunately aligned and oriented then you end up what is called as a disaster. So, these above problems together lead to what we call as a final disaster. Now, we will see some basic terms and definitions in HSC. What is an accident? It is defined as occurrence of single or sequence of events that produce unintended loss. Accidents refer to occurrence of the events only. It is not the magnitude of the event. Safety or loss prevention is defined as the prevention of hazard occurrence, let us say prevention of accident occurrence through proper hazard identification, assessment and elimination. What is a hazard? It is defined as a chemical or a physical condition that has potential to cause damage to people, property or environment. What is an incident? It is loss of contamination of material or energy. Dear friends, please remember that all incidents do not propagate to accidents. What is called a consequence? It is a measure of expected effects of the results of an incident. Then how do you define risk? Risk is a measure of magnitude of damage along with its probability of occurrence. What do we actually do in risk analysis? It is a quantitative estimate of risk using engineering evaluation and mathematical techniques. This involves estimation of hazard, their probability of occurrence and combination of both. Then what do we do in call hazard analysis. 
identification of undesired events that lead to materialization of a hazard after you identify you analyze the mechanisms by which these undesired events could occur then estimate the extent magnitude and likelihood of any harmful effects caused by the identified hazards that is what we try to do in hazard analysis. Then frequently used terminology in HSC people call a safety program. What is a safety program? Safety program is categorized into two parts one is what is called as a good program this identifies and eliminates existing safety hazards the other one is called as an outstanding program which prevents the existence of a hazard in the first place itself. The ingredients or the input for a safety program are as follows knowledge about safety, experience on safety, technical competence to carry out a such program and safety management support. Above all you have to have a strong commitment to safety. Let us quickly see what is an initial response from HSC. The review of safety regulatory regime that is safety cases versus prescriptive rules let us see how do they compare themselves. This can be seen in two parts one is what is called as goal setting regimes other is what is called as rule based regimes. In goal setting regimes the duty holder assesses the risk he should demonstrate its understanding then controls cover management technical and system issues keeps pace with the new knowledge opportunity for workforce engagement is created in this regime. Whereas, if you look safety as a rule based regime then the legislator sets the rules to follow safety they generally emphasize compliance rather than outcomes this kind of system is very slow to respond there is less emphasis on continuous improvement, but there is a less workforce involvement in such kinds of regimes. Now, we have seen basic introduction to HSC some terminologies and the definitions in HSC we will look into safety assurance and assessment in the next lecture. Thank you.